Hi, this is Jeremy from Craft Brewing, and I'm just going to show you how I like to really quickly use a thief to draw off a sample of beer in order to uh, conduct a hydrometer reading. So what I've got here is a beer that I'm really excited about. It's been fermenting for just about three weeks. It's an Imperial India Black Ale that should be sexy. Um, so I want to make sure it's good to go throw into a keg, dry hop, do all that fun stuff just to make sure it's as awesome as it should be. Um, so step number one is I'm just going to remove my temperature probe from my thermal well here. Um, I'm going to take my beautiful thief, the star of the show, and I'm just going to get some star sand into that. And then I like to just kind of rock it like this, make sure that nothing's getting missed on the inside. I mean, Hopefully, there shouldn't be any kind of uh, a weird infectious issue, but better safe than sorry. So, okay, got as much as I could out of there. I'm also now going to spray my hands down, spray the entire outside of this to make sure that everything is just coated in that good stuff. Um, before I do anything else though, I also, because this is going to be making contact with the inside of the hydrometer tube, I also just like to kind of give that a little squirt down um, around the top of the inside as well as just around the top outside in case I do something stupid and accidentally bang it then you know it's not like I'm screwed I can just keep going so now I've got a sanitized thief I've got a sanitized uh, hydrometer tube here so now what I need to do this is where things can get a little bit uh, dicey is I'm going to remove this out um, if you don't have a don't have a thermal well going on it's almost easier because you're not worried about that whole thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it across the heat wrap here make sure to sanitize before I toss it back in should it be all good so I'm just going to pull up a disgusting looking thermal well just going to set it across here click sanitizing across there because I'm paranoid I'm just going to slowly penetrate Carboy. I come up. A nice little sample. See how much we get here. So now it's probably not quite enough for a reading, so I'm just going to try to draw off a little bit more, which will also mean that there's more to taste afterwards, which is really what it's all about. So now I want up drawing off probably a little bit more than I need. This will probably overflow. The hydrometer too, but I can deal with that in a moment. Set my thief down, get that out of the way. Now, of course, of the utmost importance here is maintaining the sanitary situation. So, got that sprayed down. Again, it should be pretty good. Everything was clean here before. And we're just going to uh, toss that back in there. Now, I've got a hydrometer sample here. Um, but this was sitting at 70 Fahrenheit. My hydrometer is actually calibrated for 60. I could just throw the hydrometer in here and do the little adjustment calculation, but honestly, I like to get the exact temperature and then you're not messing around with that. You're not worried about any sort of uh, discrepancies at all. You just know you're using the hydrometer at the temperature that it's intended for. So I usually just like to go and toss that in the freezer uh, for a couple of minutes. It drops right down. Use the probe thermometer to make sure it's all good. Uh, hydrometer in. 